Hello guys, this is Randeep from Ubuntu Fever. This is my first YouTube video. In this video, I am going to talk about 5 useful Linux commands which a normal Linux user should be aware of. So without wasting time, let's get started. These are the 5 basic Linux commands I am going to talk about in this session. The commands are ls, cd, mkdar, cp and rm. So the first command ls command. This command is used to list the contents inside a specific directory. So let's try that. So this is the terminal from where we perform these actions. I mean these commands. So now you can see it's written Ubuntu Fever at Dell hyphen PC here, which means my machine's username is Ubuntu Fever. Uh, I have logged in as the user Ubuntu Fever, and my machine's host name is Dell hyphen PC. All right. So by default, you will be in the home directory itself. Suppose you want to know what are the contents inside the home directory, you can use the ls command. So type ls and press enter. Now you can see some output here. There are some directories, desktop, downloads, documents, music, pictures, videos, templates. So these are the directories inside the home directory. Suppose you want to know much more detailed output. Suppose you want to get much more detailed output. You can use an option called minus a. So ls space minus a and press enter. Now you can see the output is much more big. I mean, there are some more de some more uh, directories listed now. Dot Mozilla, dot Nano, dot OpenShot, and Bash History, Bash Logout, Bash RC. So, so these are the hidden directories and hidden files which you can see by using the ls minus a command. Okay. So for every command we have options available so to know what are the options for a command we can use minus minus help command so use it after the command so for getting ls commands option we can use ls space minus minus help and press enter now we can see there are plenty of options for the command ls we can uh, you can see the ls minus a it will show all i mean do not ignore and restarting with dot that means it will show you the hidden file and there are some more options you can check check it later on and the second command i'm going to talk about in this section is the cd command so suppose you want to change to any of these directories suppose you want to change to the documents directory then you can use the cd command so the command syntax would be cd space documents i mean the destination and press enter now you can see we successfully changed the documents directory okay so cd command is used to change to the uh, change to directories another directories okay suppose you want to change back change to back i mean you want to change to the previous directory you can use the option i mean the command with an option double dot so cd space double dot and press enter now we can see we uh, we are in the home directory now so we change back to the home directory using the command cd space dot dot and if you want to change to back again and like if you want to go to documents again you can use cd space minus so press enter now we change to the documents again okay so this is cd command and uh, the third command i'm gonna talk about in this session is the mkdar command mkdar stands for make directory so if you want to create a directory inside a directory you can use the mkdar command so if you want to create a directory inside documents directory then we can use the command here mkdar space the directory name so before that we can check what are the contents inside the documents directory now we can see there is a file 
named image.jpg and th there is no directories here so only one file okay so suppose you want to create a directory the command would be mkdar space the directory name which you want to create suppose you want to create an uh, uh, create a directory called ubuntu so the command would be mkdar space ubuntu and press enter and list again now you can see the ubuntu directory is here that means we successfully created the M ubuntu directory using the mkdar command okay so that that's it and the fourth command is cp command this command is used to copy the contents from a directory to the other directory so suppose you want to copy this file to this directory we can use the cp command before that we can change to the ubuntu directory and uh, you can see that there is nothing inside the directory because we just created it we haven't created any files inside the ubuntu directory but we haven't copied anything to this ubuntu directory so we can copy the image.jpg to the ubuntu directory so the command would be cp image dot uh, and one more thing you don't need to type all the things in linux uh, in ubuntu uh, we can use the tab uh, function in the keyboard to get the autofill so by type, typing the first two letters or three letters tab so it will be autofill so cp image dot image dot jpg it means the source and the destination here it's ubuntu okay so cp image uh, source and destination image dot image dot jpg and ubuntu and press enter now you can change the ubuntu directory again sorry and uh, sorry again and the list again so now you can see the image.jpg image is in ubuntu directory that means we successfully copied that image.jpg to the ubuntu directory using the cp command okay and the fifth and the last command i'm going to talk about in this session is rm command so suppose you want to remove the uh, file in a directory you can use this rm command suppose you want to remove this image.jpg we just copied it and we want to remove it so you can use this rm command rm space the file name here it's image.jpg so rm space image.jpg and press enter and the list again now you can see there's nothing that means we removed that image.jpg using the CP, uh, rm command and there are some options available for the command rm as well so we can check that rm space minus minus help so you can see minus f for force ignore non-existent files and you can see an option here minus r recursive it will remove that piece and and the contents recursively so let's try that again Suppose you want to remove this ubuntu directory from here you can use this rm command so rm space ubuntu and press enter now you can see there's an error which is cannot remove ubuntu is a directory that means we cannot remove ubuntu i mean we cannot remove directory using the rm command without the help of an option that option is minus r so the command would be rm space minus r ubuntu okay and press enter and list again now you can see that the ubuntu directory we created is gone that means we removed that using the rm command with the option minus r so this is for the time being thanks for watching this video hope you guys enjoyed it Please hit the like button if you like this video and subscribe my youtube channel for the future videos. Thank you.